Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. And if you guys are new here, pretty much all I do is go out there in the in the wild, right? In real life, and we go and find items to flip online for a profit, mainly on eBay, but we do sell on other platforms. And uh, that's basically what my full-time job is. I've been doing it for almost three years now, and I haven't looked back uh, since. Now, I will say the first year was definitely a uh, one for the books in a sense of there's a lot of learning a lot of buying that I wasn't used to year two which was uh, this this uh, this past year we did extremely well one because we're growing our knowledge and then two we constantly learn we're constantly getting educated in general and that's why we did so well in uh, my second year um, and uh, this March will be uh, three years so uh, but yeah but anyways that's pretty much what we do as our full-time living and also too if you guys are returning viewers thank you guys so much uh we are actually over 6200 subscribers so i appreciate that uh by the time this airs could be more could be less i don't know <laughs> but uh pretty easy sell uh selling day monday was a holiday which was new year's technically is usps they consider that um a uh holiday so these sales are from monday and uh today which is tuesday so we have 27 items going on for $496.24. Pretty easy. I will say since since yeah, since it's been the holidays, I haven't been listing as much. And that's very understandable. Vacations, uh, well not vacations, but just taking time to relax for myself, coming up with some New Year's resolutions. Uh, and a couple other things that we're working on behind the scenes. But mainly just... I wouldn't call it lazy, it was just because of the holidays. But uh, we're trying to get back into the swing of things. Starting tomorrow, I will be listing a lot. And I, was, I just want to bring in 2023 with a big bang. And uh, hopefully we can do more in sales this year than we did last year. Now, I do want to be fully transparent with you guys. Um, we looked at all of these, uh, these statistics of every single platform that I have sold on, plus YouTube and all that good stuff. And um, we brought in right around 195,000 in gross sales and other money and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure what exactly we have netted at this point in time, but once I get with my CPA, do all my write-offs, I'll be able to tell you guys what my my rough estimate of what my net profit is. Um, 195,000 is a lot, and that that is very. It's an exception because of all those ornaments that I found at the end of the year of last year in 2022. So there's a lot of things that play a role in that. Um, we were actually on the verge of just making about 160,000 uh, gross sales, but between finding that stuff in the unit and then the second unit that we won, all that stuff going to the end of the year really pushed us to get that that many sales. Was 195,000 realistically or realistic if we didn't get those two units? Probably not. I don't think it would have happened, but. Like I said, you know, God blesses us in many ways, and those two units at the end of the year bless us with those end of the year sales. So, like I said, at the end of the day, we're extremely blessed. We work hard, and um, it's, it's crazy how how life mysteries come aboard. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, I'm ranting at this point, but I just want to be transparent with you guys on on what our overall sales are and all that uh, for the year. All right, guys. So this is a little bit of stuff. Like I said, not a uh, not a whole lot of stuff going out. 27 items going out for a little less than 500. And that's perfectly fine. There's going to be a lot of $5 sales here and some more, some less. But let's just go ahead and see what we got. Uh, first things first is going to be the, another one of these Sheila Collectibles Nativity little decor piece. Um, we got less than a dollar in each of these and we have a ton of Sheila Collectibles. This right here is sold for $10 plus shipping. Ornament right next to it says See No Humbug, sold for $5 plus shipping. Prancer and Vixen, keepsake uh, Hallmark ornament, sold for $5 plus shipping. Another one, this one's called prize topiary i don't know if i'm saying that right or not but it's sold for five dollars plus shipping this one right here says let it snow man yeah let it snow sold for five dollars plus shipping and another one cool santa sitting on top of the oh uh, no he's standing behind some coca cola bottles and a cooler sold for five dollars plus shipping i wasn't kidding a lot of five dollar sales <laughs> so just be prepared um next thing going out is going to be this uh, lapel pin uh 1947 through 1997 32 cent stamp Air Force lapel pin. Uh, we got these a whole bunch of lapel pins in an online auction, and um, so this is just kind of like one of those things. I'm not even sure how much we spend on it. It wasn't much, um, but that lapel pin right there sold for five dollars plus shipping. All right, we're switching it up. Poison cassette. Uh, this one says, "Look what the cat dragged in." 1986. This one actually sold for four dollars plus shipping, <laughs> and then we're gonna switch it up again. So this right here was actually very surprising. So this next item is called Midwest of Cannon Falls 
uh santa o nicholas figurine um this was in the storage units now at first glance you wouldn't think anything of it but this is where research and educating yourself comes into play there was none listed none sold we had to go over on worth point to get it see if we can even find it and sure enough we found it and it actually sold within about a month very surprising and it sold for forty dollars plus shipping all right so we got this little red schoolhouse ornament right there sold for five dollars plus shipping uh snow buddies ornament uh we actually sold two of these um that one right there and that one right there they sold to two separate buyers for eight dollars plus shipping the one right next to it is a uh hallmark jeep 4x4 santa's 4x4 there you go sold for seven dollars plus shipping all right so we got this uh amico pasta machine at a at a yard sale with a bundle of stuff we paid like 15 bucks for everything and uh, I think this actually puts us in the green. So uh, this pasta machine sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. Flight at Kitty Hawk, I think we sold one of these before. This one right here sold for $8 plus shipping. All right, got a little uh, Lionel Tender General Steam Locomotive, $5 plus shipping. Hearts at Sale, or Hearts of Sale, 1994 ornament sold for $3 plus shipping. G.I. Joe Action Soldier, uh, 35th anniversary, sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, now see, now you guys would think that one right there would go for more, but this one actually goes for uh, a little bit more. So this one's called Mary Music Makers 2002 Hallmark Ornament. This one right here sold for $20 plus shipping. Ma Mooster Fix It, I thought it said Monster, but it says Mooster, sold for $8 plus shipping. Another keepsake ornament, or I guess Hallmark ornament. I don't know why I keep saying keepsake, but it just, I guess because there's a big old word right there and the Hallmark word is lower, but anyways, or uh, smaller. Uh, but this one's called Dodger and Blitzen, sold for $10 plus shipping. And last but not least, what we have right here, this is called Gardevoir. I think and this is a legendary treasures pokemon card and it sold for eight dollars free shipping rest stuff's gonna be down in the garage let's see what we got all right guys made it to the garage and we actually have a rice cooker going out where is the rice cooker i don't know where we put it all right so here we go first item it's going to be this hitachi chimomatic um rice cooker and this right here uh, it's definitely a bolo to look out for. Um, Hitachi makes a whole bunch of stuff. At the time, I didn't even know they made uh, stuff like this. But I know they made like TVs and tools and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So the reason why it's called a chime matic is because of this. Makes a little chime, right? Very cool. We got this for $8 at a uh, estate sale. We sold the other one, which was mustard yellow. This one is a white one. And I took a best offer of $40.44 plus shipping all right coming over here to f1 and i believe this item is from the uh the storage unit i believe but we have this sears countercraft electric knife vintage i think it's new uh maybe and yes it is new uh so new old stock so keep in mind you know again i, I don't necessarily go out there to look for this said stuff this is just one of those items where it was new old stock it fit the whole criteria of stuff and we found this in a storage unit so it's like why wouldn't i list it and um sure enough it took about two months to sell this right here sold for ten dollars plus shipping all right something that i listed the other day it's gonna be right here in e4 and the question is is oh here you go it's right here on the bottom so as you guys can tell this thing's filled and uh yeah so we got this guard line extra sensor uh, up to 500 foot driveway alarm got this for seven bucks at black friday deals it sold for 20 dollars plus shipping all right right here in e4 also from the storage unit and i think it's gonna be this big thing right here yeah there you go so this right here is a peanuts window clean valentine's day makes sense because valentine's day is right around the corner um, but yeah basically these are just a little cling on to your windows this sold for ten dollars plus shipping we we're looking for another 49ers bear and i don't know how many of these we have left but we do have this one. So this is a San Francisco, one of those ML Bear thingies, little bean, Beanie Baby thingies. They're not Beanie Babies, but you guys understand what I'm saying. I uh, got a whole bunch of these in the state sale. This one right here sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, and that is everything going out for uh, tomorrow morning. We will see you guys Thursday night with what sold. There's no updates realistically of what I have going on. There was two storage units in Charleston, South Carolina that I was gonna try to win this upcoming Friday, but I just don't think it's smart to do it. At the end of the day, we have to figure out the smart play here, you know, because at the end of the day, we can't be any, you know, everywhere all at once, you know, at the same time. So it's like I'm still working through the 
uh, second 10 by 30 storage units. And again, I haven't touched any of this and it's not because, and, and mainly because of the holidays, but we still have all of this to list. And it's like, I do have room in my storage unit. I do. Um, but it's like, you know, I know, I know what they say when the, when the getting is getting, you know, you got, or whenever the buying is getting or whatever the saying is, I'm drawing a blank, but I mean, I have inventory up here. I have inventory over there. I have a little bit in my room. I have, you know, so it's like, you know, I just need to get through all this first before we um, get into more storage units, unless it is a absolute like certainty that I know I'm going to make money on. Um, the one that I want to get this Friday it's kind of it's kind of iffy. It could be a huge home run or it could be a huge loss because the two hour drive there and then two hour drive uh, drive back, and then of course we're probably gonna have to rent it out because they're both ten by twenty. So yeah, so it's just I just feel like it's gonna be the smarter play to just you know just hang on to what I'm doing now, um, and I don't want to get more overwhelmed than what I already am. But um, but anyways, I'll see you guys Thursday night with what sold, and uh, if anything new comes up, I will update you guys. So see you guys Thursday night. All right, guys, check it out. So as y'all know, my new schedule is getting up at five o'clock in the morning, kind of waking up a little bit, uh, you know, use the bathroom, drink some water, you know, just basically get ready for the day. And I go to the gym at 5.30 ish, sometimes actually a little bit before. Uh, but then I go there, I work out for, you know, a substantial amount of time and uh, I come back home and my, uh, my new thing I'm doing, instead of just sitting around eating breakfast, watching TV, relaxing, whatever, before I get the day going, um, I'm starting to do something a little bit different. So as soon as I get done with the gym, I come home, I eat my breakfast, hang out with my dogs, take them out, give them food, you know, do my husband, father duties, I guess. <laughs> and uh, and then after that, we're going to be packing up packages. And that's what I'm going to be doing today, which is Friday morning. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, like I said, we already hit the gym. We... I can't say we're feeling motivated today, but I will say that I am feeling extremely tired today. But the grind must go on, right? <laughs> so... Uh, very easy, simple uh, day for, for packing up. Um, I need to do this before about 10, 10 o'clock or so because my wife has to drop off her car for an oil change. Uh, and then we're gonna, probably going to go thrifting for a little bit. So I might bring you guys along in this video. I don't know. We'll figure that out uh, as this video goes on. Um, but we have 22 items going out for $666.80. Weird number. Uh, but, you know, we'll take it. But uh, one thing, too, I want to say is uh, I haven't been listing like crazy at all. I know, I believe at the beginning of this week, I said that we were gonna be grinding hard on Monday. <sighs> but with working out and everything, I will say it's taking a toll. I know a lot of people will tell me uh, in the comments that I need to relax, I need to hire somebody, I need to do this, that, and the other. But it's like, man, you know, I'm a grinder. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't complain much, uh, but when I do, you know it's serious. But I, as far as listing, I haven't been doing it like I should be. Um, but yesterday I did do about 40 listings. So, um, every day before that, I just didn't really list at all. Maybe like three listings a day, um, something like that. But, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and pull these, uh, 22 items. I do got a handful of things pulled behind me. The rest of stuff's going to be down in the garage and got a pretty okay mixture of stuff, but I will say we're still selling ornaments. All right, here we are. A lot of, a lot of different stuff. Don't worry about this pal. Uh, we actually found a box. Um, where's the box? Yeah, that brown box there. Um, that had all these ornaments in it really good ones or decent ones and none of them are in there so uh, this was the only box so far that we found none of the totes but just this box um, but these are all the ornaments that sold so let's go ahead and start off here with this Mary's Angel matter of fact I think we sold two of them there's that one and that one both of them sold to two separate buyers for five dollars plus shipping we got the official Matchbox Series Deluxe Collector's Case. This is from the Diecast Car Storage Unit. If you guys remember, all those cases have been on the floor here for over a year. Um, constantly being rearranged. Sometimes they go into the spare bedroom. They move back out here. Whenever I was listing all those Diecast cars, finally got around to listing all the cases a few weeks ago. And uh, this one right here sold. I think this is the most expensive one that I have. And it sold for $35 plus shipping. Rock Revival Jeans 29 by 31 z Dark Blue z Straight is what the name of the jeans are called. Um, I believe we got these for, I don't know, maybe 25 bucks or so at a yard sale. Sold for $65 plus shipping. All right, we got a little Nutcracker here. Nutcracker Guild. That one right there sold for $3 plus shipping. All right, then one buyer uh, actually bought these two separate transactions, but we will refund the shipping difference. The buyer bought this 1949 Gillum Sport. That one right there sold for $3 uh, plus shipping. And then On the Road Collector Series. That one's actually pretty cool. Um, it's a 10 mail car. So both of these in total 
sold for eight dollars plus shipping 1997 corvette sold for five dollars plus shipping all right so if you guys remember these shoes these are the new balance a90 v4 disney cinderella shoes these things are actually immaculate these things are very very nice i believe we got these for a dollar or three dollars at a yard sale beautiful condition looks like they were used once for the disney run i'm not too sure but those shoes right there sold for 55 dollars plus shipping all right got a video game here dynasty warriors 5 empires 360 game sold for 13 dollars free shipping big 10 toy if you guys remember that yard sale that i went to that the lady had a whole bunch of toys pulled out i got a whole bunch of items already well 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 in the green um this one is missing a few parts and uh it did sell for ten dollars plus shipping so not a lot of money but the fact that we were able to sell it makes me uh, pretty happy. All right, we got a little snowflake ballet ornament. This one right here is sold for $5 plus shipping. And what's really cool about this item, or actually the next, I guess, three items that I have, I actually listed yesterday. So it's very, very cool. So the first one is this uh, first Christmas together from Hallmark. It's a glass ornament from 1980. Christmas is a love story written in our hearts. You gotta love the message. This one right here alone sold for $20 plus shipping this next one is the, one of these peanuts glass ornaments it says behold i bring you something great joy which shall be to all people or something like that this one is from the year 1992 that's the year i was born this right here is sold for 15 dollars plus shipping and we're just going to go ahead and skip over to this one because it's the one i listed yesterday this is uh another one of these peanuts hallmark ornaments from 1989 this one right here sold for 15 bucks plus shipping all right so the next buyer um, is actually a viewer so shout out um, to this viewer I'll get I'll get to the message in just a sec I just want to show you guys what they bought they bought this uh, welcome Santa ornament here comes Santa you have this uh, centuries of Santa and then you got real fun and that one right there is actually really cool I actually like that one um, so in total these four items sold for $23 plus shipping we will refund the shipping difference but I do want to read the message um, I believe this is from uh, a person named uh, Miriam so uh, hopefully I get that name right uh, but this is what the the message said uh, message says hi I've been a viewer for quite some time and enjoy your content very much I just watched one of the videos of the Hallmark ornament locker and jumped on to get some small ornaments for my small tree please condense the shipping for the five owners I have ordered missing your wife more often so Miriam thank you so much for your uh, for your purchase I do appreciate that and we will refund you the best shipping difference that i possibly can find uh, and make sure they'll get to you safe and sound also too i know you guys missed the wife um i will address that uh so the wife just um you know she's doing her own side hustle with the catering thing that she that she likes doing she uh she actually likes to go in and do that type of stuff she doesn't have a passion for this like i do and i don't blame her because it it, it is a lot um it takes a certain person and a certain mentality to really keep this thing going um but yeah you know she she does join me from time to time in the what soul videos but she, um, you know, she just doesn't enjoy being in front of the camera. You know, she doesn't enjoy, uh, she does enjoy going through the stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She loves buying the stuff, but she doesn't like doing like the logistics stuff on it, uh, things like that. But as far as like, you know, other videos, she will be in them, just not as much, uh, uh, unfortunately. But it is what it is, but she will be appearing from time to time. Um, but yes, Miriam, thank you so much for your four purchases. purchases. We do appreciate that, and I'll get them to you safe and sound. All right, next item going out gonna be this kitty car classics murray fire truck sold for five dollars plus shipping the buyer who ended up buying this actually bought this as well in two separate transactions i just noticed that but it's gonna be this friendship kitten ornament that one right there sold for five dollars plus shipping so in total both of these sold for 20 plus shipping but that one individually sold for five dollars plus shipping all right the rest of that's gonna be down the garage let's go see what we got all right guys we made it down to the garage and a lot of this stuff is from the private pick with mr tim and we ended up selling this right here but i think there was another one could be wrong on that all right so this is what sold this heist tronica uh crimper crimping tool sold for 17 bucks free shipping all right you guys so i just pulled, pulled this from d5 and we have this grim's dude i guess he's called prince harming there you go right there prince harming <laughs> it's kind of funny uh this is from the storage unit and it sold for 15 bucks plus shipping all right and then right here in g3 we have this barracuda two terabyte hard drive we got this for seven dollars at black friday deals 
and it's over $25 plus shipping. All right, guys, and that's going to be everything. That's everything going out um, for today. So we do got to pack it up. Um, I will say we did it about another two or three totes uh, worth of items in here. Um, so nothing, anything's changed, nothing too crazy. Um, I was going to be winning a, uh, two storage units today in Charleston, South Carolina, but I decided not to just because we have so much stuff as it is. And next Tuesday, I'll be cleaning out that 10 by 30 unit with the U-Haul, getting it all thrown out to the dump and all that. And we'll see you guys Sunday and uh, hopefully the sales, uh, come up a little bit. All right, guys, if I look tired, it's because I am. <laughs> so, uh, it's actually Sunday. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. I have to get up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym because we're sticking close to my diet and all this other stuff. We did really well on the first week. Literally little to no sugar throughout the whole entire week. I will say, I, you know, my energy level wasn't the greatest, but it's understandable. You know, you got to get through this little, you know, this little crutch that's kind of holding you back. But, uh, you know, little to no sugar. Uh, a lot of protein, you know, a little bit of fats and a little bit of carbs, but mainly just a lot of protein, lots of veggies, that type of stuff. And uh, we, we are actually down seven pounds um, in one week. So that's that's a pound a day, and that's not bad. And that's understandable, too, because once you cut out all that sugar, that, that weight's going to come down uh, off you for like that first two to three weeks um, in general. But um, that's not why we're here. <laughs> it's Sunday. I actually just got back from golfing. That's why I'm wearing a polo. Um, and uh, me and my brother tied. That's the first time he's ever tied with me, um, and I've beaten him in the past three or four months now. And this was, it was a very close, very, very, very close uh, 18 holes. So it's definitely not bad. Um, but uh, we just got home not too long ago, probably about an hour ago, and I just got to pulling stuff behind me because we actually got some good mixture of stuff. A lot of ornaments again because I'm just the ornament king on eBay right now. Um, but uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and break down these numbers for you guys because I'm ranting at this point. But I will say I'm a little tired. So, over on my eBay account, my first eBay account, we have 34 items going out for $986.93. And then over on my second eBay account, we have an item going out for $21.24, which puts us at a total of 35 items going out for $1,008.17. So, we hit the $1,000 uh, threshold for the weekend, which is good in my opinion. A uh, couple... Uh, one big sale and then the rest of them just kind of, you know, easy, simple sale. So uh, with that being said, got a handful of things pulled behind me. Let's see what we got. All right, first things first, it's going to be this nine iron tungsten injected Callaway Golf nine iron uh, golf club. So yeah, uh, pretty cool. I believe I won this maybe an online auction or maybe I end up getting this for like a dollar at a yard. So I don't remember. This golf club right here is sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, so the next thing we got going out gonna be this Barbie shopping for shoes this one is used um, but it is pretty cool you kind of have like the accessories the shoes the box and even the boxes on the inside actually have like the tissue paper that normal shoes come in so I thought that was kind of cool um, but this one right here ended up selling for ten dollars plus shipping got this one right here it says nostalgic houses and shops called schoolhouse this one right here sold for ten dollars plus shipping all right got another ornament right here this is a chevy el camino 1959 this one right here sold for ten dollars plus shipping all right so this box underneath is actually a green box but this is kind of like the cover that goes with it um this one is called christmas treasures i believe this one right here sold for ten dollars plus shipping another vehicle hallmark ornament sold 1953 buick roadmaster skylark sold for five dollars plus shipping and then another vehicle another ornament sold this one right here 1966 oldsmobile tornado coupe sold for ten dollars plus shipping all right we got sergeant smash these hot wheel uh monster jam trucks they do very well i've told you guys that numerous times so if you guys ever see these in the packaging if you guys ever find them in the wild even loose ones if there's a bunch of them you guys can get them pretty cheap the bundles even do pretty well this one right here sold for ten dollars plus shipping so this one right here is a waterford ornament i don't know if i can even really share i think i might have yeah i wrapped it up but um this Waterford ornament, there's none listed, none sold. Couldn't find anything on Worth Point, but it's uh, basically like a blue uh, ornament, glass ornament, uh, circular one, and then there's white doves on it. Makes the color really pop out on it. Uh, I might have undersold this because I sold it extremely quick within like a like four or five hours. Um, but this Waterford ornament sold for $35 plus shipping. Uh, those Affliction shirts. Took a little while to sell but if you guys remember those four or five affliction shirts i believe i bought a golf club and then some reebok crossfit shoes paid like 80 bucks for them or something like that and a lot of people in the comments said that i paid too much um but in reality i actually didn't which was actually very surprising because i actually thought i paid too much um but we uh pretty much uh doubled our money on that deal and then this right here is literally all pure profit so after this sale 
it's not quite a triple up but it's definitely not a bad not not a bad uh little flip uh but this is a affliction 2xl button up t-shirt um that's the way it looks right there uh it ended up selling for 30 dollars plus shipping and um that is the last affliction shirt that I have. All right, got a little nutcracker named Otto the Carpenter. This ornament right here sold for $3 plus shipping. Sketcher shoes, if you guys remember, well actually no, I don't think, I don't even think I was recording that day. I don't remember. We ended up getting these at an estate sale down in Savannah, Georgia. Um, it was kind of crazy. I wish I was recording. Um, maybe I did record it and the footage got corrupt. I don't remember, I, I really don't. Um, but uh, this one lady uh, was running around like crazy trying to find these Austin Power uh, toys like collectible toys and they're all in like a basket or whatever and she was running all throughout this person's house almost ran into me almost ran into a few people and uh, i remember in the video i was saying do not be like this lady it is so disrespectful to run in somebody else's house just because it's an estate sale and it's running professionally don't run in somebody's house man like i get it you're trying to find those cool deals and stuff like that but when it comes to that type of stuff, personally, that is just so disrespectful. You don't know if that person passed away. You just, you just don't know. You know what I'm saying? So always be respectful at a state. But anyways, it kind of got me heated a little bit, you know? <laughs> but uh, we ended up getting these Skechers. Nobody uh, wanted them, and there was about three pairs in there. So this one right here, this pair of Skechers um, leather synthetic sports shoes. These right here sold for $17 plus shipping. Packed with love ornament. Um, this is one of the lower ends from 2005, sold for $3 plus shipping. Uh, we found another box of these. Um, if you guys saw the last what's, uh, the what sold day on Thursday, we sold a bunch of these. Um, and I listed them the same day, and they sold the same day. And this one right here sold over the weekend, uh, which is pretty good. So this is a 1986 Peanuts ornament. It sold for $15 bucks plus shipping. Uh, we got a little mom teapot little mouse ornament that one right there sold for five dollars plus shipping crayola king of the ring i actually love the crayola ones i think this is the second one of these i've sold sold for five dollars plus shipping all right so we got some disney dalmatians it's uh from 102 dalmatians to be exact it says oddball little dipper and domino this one right here sold for twenty dollars plus shipping another lighter ornament christmas eve visit a little brass one sold for five dollars plus shipping got a little miniature one it says gearing up for christmas Kind of cool. Sold for $3 plus shipping. Got a big old The Dancing Nutcracker book ornament. Sold for $8 plus shipping. This big boy right here. This is a Danbury Mint Rare Notre Dame Historic Cathedral Display Piece. Um, I got it all taped up. I will be boxing this into another box. Um, I want to say I paid $10 to $20 on auction. I want to say it was like, I want to say it was $12. But I'm just saying anywhere between 10 to 20. 10 on a low end, 20 on a high end. But I think it's $12 is what I pay for it on auction. This thing right here ended up selling for $120 plus shipping. Assassin's Creed 3 for the Wii U. Got this in a Facebook Marketplace deal a, a while back. Um, got a whole bunch of games, a couple consoles for really good, really good money. Sold for $10 free shipping. All right, we got uh, Raiding the Fridge, Santa Ornament. And it actually lights up. Pretty cool. Sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Another monster truck right here. Monster Jam Hot Wheel truck. Sold, or I'm sorry, Clydesdale is the name of it. Sold for ten dollars plus shipping. Miniature gentle giraffes. And keep in mind, uh, one thing about the ornaments that I've always told you guys about. Some of the big ones only go for like three to five bucks, but then there's some like this. This miniature one goes for a little bit more than that three to five bucks. With these ornaments too, I think we've done over eleven thousand dollars so far, um, just in the ornaments, which is pretty wild. And uh, what I will say about it is that some of the smaller stuff just really just surprises you. Like, I believe I sold a little three-piece penguin. I think I talked about it before, but three-piece um, penguin ornament that sold for $30. Absolutely crazy. But then you got, like, you know, a big nutcracker one that sells for, like, three. So, I don't know. It really surprised you. So, this miniature Gentle Giraffes 1997 ornament actually sold for $10 plus shipping. Going over here, there's a little sweepy. This was another one that really surprised me. Like I said, it just it's kind of wild of what some of this stuff can go for. This one's called Sweet Pea Mary's Angel. And this one right here actually had a value of $15 plus shipping. So we sold it for $15 plus shipping. And uh and, and that is just very surprising. 1955 Murray Tractor and Trailer. Looks like it's like a little two-piece one. Sold for five dollars plus shipping. All right, guys, so check it out. Look who's here. Hello. It's the wife. Yeah, I know you guys love and miss her, but you got, you want to tell them why you're not in the videos as often. Because I work. 
and she doesn't. So I'm tired all the time. Yeah, she doesn't have a you know like a passion for it like we do, but it's okay. She's like I said, I've told you guys before. She's gonna join us from time to time. I like cooking. Okay, That's you do. Why I, got I know. The job. I know. I know. I'm not complaining. Yeah. If anything, I get more screen time. Yeah, because I know y'all love her more than me. Ain't all right. It's not my fault. I know, but it's okay. All right, so. But she will be helping me out from time to time, and that's perfectly fine because she has a life and she has other things that she's trying to accomplish. So, first things first, we're going to go up here to C6. This is going to be the last bean bear of this uh, of this team. So, pretty cool. If you want, you can set it right there if you want. Or you can... All right, so we're looking for the last 49ers bear. So, basically, like red and gold and white. I believe that's it. Yeah, so this is going to be the last one of its kind. This bean bear, remember, you guys got all this stuff at an estate sale. Very, very cheap. Um, so, definitely a good flip, in my opinion. Sold for $10 plus shipping. So, next item going out is going to be on the racks. We actually, if you guys remember in the storage unit, we found that Monopoly Star Wars brand new Monopoly board. That is what sold, and it should be on that black rack that's right over there. All right, so here it is right here. Look at that, brand new. That was in the storage unit, pretty cool stuff. Um, in the pictures of the storage unit, we didn't see that, so it was very surprising. Sold for what? I don't know. <laughs> $30 plus shipping. All right, next item is gonna be an E4. We're looking for a guard line extra sensor. We actually just got this, uh, not this past Friday, but the Friday before, so it sold in about a week, or I guess, yeah, I guess two weeks. What is it? It's a guard line extra sensor driveway alarm. Should be in like a black and gold box. All right, there it is right there. Brand new in the package. Got that for $7 at Black Friday Deals. It sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, so this next thing is pretty surprising. We're going to be going into D5. And this is where you guys, uh, this is where I talk about where you guys do your proper research when you guys are doing storage units. Whether you guys are doing anything in life, just, just do your research when it comes to reselling. Um, so the thing we're looking for is a Jacob Zook hex sign Pennsylvania Dutch Amish American Eagle 16 inch round vintage. It looks like that. <laughs> That's the title of the actual thing. Uh, but it's pretty crazy on what this actually sold for. Look at that. Now, what, what do you think that sold for? 50 cents. <laughs> 50 cents. It's just a piece of wood, nothing too crazy, but it does have some resale value. It sold for $30 plus shipping, and it's just a decoration piece. All right, and the last item going out in here, it's going to be, I'm sorry, actually, no, I'm sorry, there's actually two items left. Um, but the last one on my first eBay account is going to be a C1. We are looking for a SanDisk 128 gigabytes uh, USB drive. I found this one. Alrighty. And it looks like she found it. There it is right there. This right here ended up selling, or I'm sorry, we got it for $7 at Black Friday Deals and it sold for $25 plus shipping. And the last item, we're going to be going into N4. And this one sold on my second eBay account. We're looking for one of those little, um, what is it called? MIG saws or zero play looking things. Zero play 360, yeah, that thing. That right there, I uh, got for $7 at Black Friday Deals and it sold for $20 free shipping any last words for your your people this is they love you more than me i love y'all thank you for supporting everything brandon does i promise you're in good hands he's good i promise i just gotta work love y'all all right yeah and like i told you guys that she will be joining us from time to time into storage units um you know certain videos of course you know garage sale videos whenever she's available and she's having the energy to do it she will be joining us i know you guys miss her i miss her too but she's doing her own thing you can't hate her for it so uh but yeah that's gonna be end of this video much love thank you guys so much for our love and support and all the subscribers the likes the comments sharing the videos uh you know anything and everything just thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart y'all are a blessing you know to say the least because y'all y'all truly do support me and at the end of the day i just want to do my best to educate you guys um and just show you guys the best content possible obviously not every run is going to be a home run or a grand slam but i do want to show that as long as you keep chipping away keep chipping away good things are going to happen to you so uh but yeah much love we'll catch you guys next video it's your boy the georgia picker peace I don't wanna wake up.